Hi, Virgo. This is Nikki. Happy Sunday to you all. Thank you for joining me for this reading. I hope it resonates with you all. What do you need to know, Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Not the hermit. What do you need to know? It's like you're seeking possibly the truth, all right? We have the swords. Okay, what are you waiting for? The four of swords here. What does Virgo need to know, spirit? It's like you're, you're, you're by yourself right now, taking like a sabbatical, possibly not even wanting to, wanting to, wanting to be bothered. Maybe you're, wanting, maybe you're doing your own hair, okay? Maybe you're wanting to redo your hair by yourself without having to pay anybody to do it. You possibly can't even afford to pay anybody to do it. So you said, I'm going to do it myself, okay? That's too many. <laughs> What do you need to know, Earthly? Got the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're leaving people out in the cold, okay? It's like you just don't want to be bothered, you know? And people probably call you, ignoring phone calls. I see one, one, one. Um, so maybe you just you just don't want to be bothered. You know, you say, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm chilling, you know? I just, I don't want to be bothered, you know? We have the wheel. I think that you're going through a, a, a tough cycle in your life right now, Virgo. It's like you're contemplating your very life. Where is it that you want to go next? I'm hearing, where do you want to ascend next in your life? Okay, you're definitely thinking about some things, okay? Here we got the ace, of, I'm sorry, the, the queen of cups. So it's like, um, I got to think about this. What do I want? You know, um, being more sensitive to yourself. You know, it, you do so much to others. Now it's the time you do much for others. Now it's time for you to do for yourself. You know, it's like I'm in shutdown mode on purpose because I got to find my purpose. I got to find out what I want to do with the next half of my life. I can't do it for you anymore. Okay. You're hurting for some reason. You're deep in thought. Got a lot going on in your life. I get that. I understand. And you're tired. You're dead dog tired. And you're like, I. I, I, I'm putting myself in shutdown mode. So when I start up again, so when I regenerate things in my life, I'm going to be okay. Okay. Doing some meditation, Virgo. Prayer. We got to pray the high priestess, listening to your higher self, your intuition, getting to know who you are all over again. Regardless of what it is you're going through, it's like I got to I got to do something. You know, what is it that your higher self is telling you to do? Virgo? It's like you're already planning. You're already in the stage to where I got to listen to me for a change. I got to go and shut down. It's, not, it's like I, I don't mean any harm to you, April, May and June. I, I just need to settle. I just need to, to be alone right now. Because it's like you're not trusting anybody's energy, but yours It's like a path, this path here. I want to do this. I want to do that. But I don't know how I'm going to get there. I know that there's something that I need to do. I'm contemplating moving. I'm contemplating leaving. But how am I going to get there? What am I going to do once I get there? Am I going to have any hindrances? Am I going to have any, any you know, anybody that's going to try to pull me back to my same old habits? It's like you're tired of living the same life over and over and over again. Like what? Groundhog Day. You know, I'm moving. I'm leaving. I want to make a move. I'm thinking about make a move, making a move. You maybe you can't afford it, but maybe this is something that's on the forefront front, forefront of your mind. You want to leave. But this is your life, Virgo. It's like I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about where I want to go. I'm thinking about where I'm headed here. Okay. And this six of sorts. There's something that you're leaving behind. There's somebody or whatever that you're leaving behind. But you say, you know what? There's something else out here for me. You're leaving so many things and so many people behind back there. Okay. It's like you're turning your back. Not because you don't care, but this is your life. You're, you're going somewhere else. You're headed to your destiny. And people don't understand it. People don't understand that sometimes you just want to be left alone. It's not like you're, you're being callous, you know, or nonchalant <clears throat> just you just don't want to be bothered you know some of you all possibly are doing meditations i'm hearing praying a little bit more grounding yourself 
agency I'm taking this 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 leap and say, you know what, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta make some major changes in my life. I have a journey I need to go on. And people are gonna stop you. People are gonna ask you, why are you doing this? Or why have you decided to walk away? Or why did you choose to make a certain change in your life? This is your life. Do what you want to do. Okay. Yeah, you're probably going to end up maybe taking your children with you or, or uh, you're not going to be on this journey alone. OK, I want to tell you that right now. You may feel a little lost in the process, but you may feel also like this is, an, is an adventure. It's not an adventure. This is a lifestyle, a change of lifestyle. You know, you know, like they're saying when you're when you're starting a diet, I'm starting a diet. No, this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle change for me. All right. So this is a lifestyle change, Virgo. Okay. We have here the nine of pentacles. This is a lifestyle change. This is a chance for you to grow. You're amazing just the way you are. You may not feel that way. You may feel like, because you worry a lot, but we all do. We're Virgos. Where am I going to go in my life? What am I going to do? Is this enough? Am I enough? No, you feel like you're never enough. Sometime when you had nothing, you still had it all. You've taken the shirt off your back and given it to so many others. But when you need them, what? They're not there. And that's what you're afraid of. It's like you're afraid of, of giving your all. You feel right now probably in a, that you're in a very low state. I've done this. I've done that for people. But what do I have coming to me? Love, self-love, self-care, abundance in a relationship here. An opportunity of saying, you know what? I'm at the point to where I'm finally happy in my life. I'm able to celebrate. I'm able to have a good time with somebody who really cares about me. It's like you're being led to go on a journey to find your soulmate across water, Virgo. You're being led to this new journey, this new way of life, this new way of thinking to celebrating life with somebody else. Could be a different race. Could be a different culture. But it's like you're you're not going to be alone. You're not going to live your life alone. You're struggling right now with something. We all have our struggles. You know, I always think to what Fantasia said in that movie that, that they made of her life story. She said, everybody got problems today. She got problems. Everybody got problems. You got problems, Virgo. We all got problems. But it's how we handle the situation. Are we drinking too much? Are we eating too much? Are we worrying too much in our lives? We got We all got problems. But how are you handling your problems? Are you shutting yourself off for others, from others? Are you not talking it out to people? Are you blocking people out of your life, not answering phone calls? And like I said, you're not doing that on purpose. You, 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 you have to do what's best for you. Okay, Virgo. Quite that fell on the floor is the night of, of, of pentacles. So your income is going to get better. You may be worrying about your income right now. What am I going to do? I need to get out of this situation so I can make more money, more income. And you feel like I can't do it anymore. I can't struggle anymore. I'm tired of something getting cut off. I'm tired of getting late notices. I'm tired of the car breaking down. You know, I'm tired of this. I'm it's like you, you feel like you've so, you're so battle drawn. Like you can't do it anymore. But keep on going. Okay. Keep on going. Because you're, you're, some of you are in a tower moment or this is what you feel like. You feel like that you've been drugged by, by an 18 wheeler. That nothing is going to come together. That nothing is going to go right for you. But it is. Just believe. Okay. Believe. And everything's going to be all right, Virgo. You're going through some stuff right now. Some art, some, some stuff. But this is, I'm thinking you're going through a, a life reflection. Some of you all are possibly going through the dark night of the soul. You've probably been there before. And it's really weighing down on you. And you feel so alone. But you're never alone. All right. You're never alone. Got problems. Everybody got problems right now. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. This is a stepping stone for you. This is something that you know is coming. A new pathway. Oof. A new pathway. I, I'll be damned. You see that empress over there? So whatever it is you're going through, you're not going to be going through this alone. We have the emperor. <clears throat> we have here the two of wands. And we have the empress. So it's not like you're going to be going through this alone. Like I said, Spirit is sending you this person to live your life with. 
you're closer to you're closer than ever to love. If I can get this to focus, you're closer than ever to true love. Okay, a new journey. Whatever it is you're going through, it's gonna be here for a minute, but you're headed toward this journey. That's what you're in reflection about. That is why you are in hermit mode right now, because this new pathway is gonna lead you to your higher self. It's gonna lead you to this new person coming into your life, male or female. There's an opportunity. You got love here waiting for you on the other side. He or she may be a single parent. So what? They're still going to love you. You're going to love them. So whatever it is you're struggling with, whatever it is you're going through, Spirit is telling you, be prepared because I'm going about, I'm about to introduce you to the one that you're going to marry. So get ready, Virgo. All right. I hope this message resonates. Talk to you later.